Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Anna and I'm the blogger behind yourartpath.com. Anyway, so are you excited about the new Procreate 4.3 update? It's actually so, so cool. There are a lot of incredible new features. My favorites, there are two, and that's text and animated GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them. Um, so let's dive right in and I'll show you how to add text. You have to go to file or action and click on add text right here. Then you can begin editing it and let's say we want to say OMG because we are so excited about this new thing. And you can move it around, you can change the box size, you can change the size and the spacing in between letters and a lot of different things um, happening here. You can even change the opacity of it. It's actually really, really cool. And it, it does remind me a lot about um, like Photoshop or WordPress in the sense of like all of these different features that can be added, but there's also an option to just have the outline or other cool things. Um, it's really sick. So here on the left, we have fonts. We have different fonts um, that you can be doing. Um, there's a lot of them, but you can also add your own. You will have to just click import font and then you can choose the font and it will be imported right here. It says importing and there it is, Night Call Upright. That's the font I imported. I got it from Creative Market, um, which is a great place to get fonts and stuff. Um, but you can import your own fonts and if you like creating your own fonts or if you like um, buying or downloading free fonts, then this is a perfect option. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. And in order to change the color, you would just have to go to color and you would start editing it because if you decide that you want to change the color later on, then um, you would actually not be able to edit the font anymore, the text, right? But right now you can still edit it. So there you go. I think that's pretty cool. Um, if, um, if you go to layers, you will see that this text layer is looks a little bit different, right? Um, so what that means is that you can still click on it and click on added text. It's still editable all the way, like it didn't just stop, it's not going to stop you from editing it. So that's really cool. But if you want to add some cool textures or features to it, then let's say we duplicate it. And then if I click on rasterize, it shows us, oh my God, because now it's no longer a text. Now it's a shape. So just so you know, that's like an option. And then you can click like, let's say alpha lock and you can start creating different cool transitions or whatever it is that you want to be creating. Um, I think that's pretty damn cool. Um, the only problem is that now you can't edit whatever it says, so make sure you like how it looks before you jump into editing it. So um, that's one of the things that I really like about Procreate, a uh, new update, but there's one more. In order to show it to you, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab this And let's say we're going to write something like mm. Let me speed this uh, things up here quickly so you don't have to watch me type things up. Okay, so I just added some a bunch of different texts because I think it's really cool. And now I want to show you my second favorite feature inside of the new Procreate. Um, if you go to settings and share, 
you will notice a new option that says animated GIF or GIF. And if you click on it, it will start seeing all your layers and putting them one to one and it will show you that GIF that you can have based on all these layers. You can also change the speed, like this is obviously insane, but you can uh, control the speed of how quickly those layers change. You can have a transparent background. And then if you're planning to post it somewhere on social media, full resolution could be great. But if you wanna post it on a blog, like I could be doing, then you have to choose web ready so it doesn't have such a big size, right? So that's really awesome. And just to give you a little tip, if you want to have the previous words, um, inside of this GIF, uh, there are ways around that. So I'll show you how. Um, this was our first layer, right? So it goes into, in from the order of the first layer you created. So what we could do is we could duplicate this and then we can combine these two. So merge down. Now we have, oh, wait, never mind, go back. Uh, we have to duplicate this one as well. So now what we have is, oh my God, that's our first layer, right? And then our second layer has, oh my God, and procreate. So we would merge those two down, right? So that would be first, that would be second. Then the third one is, so we duplicate this and merge these two. Second, oh my god, procreate is okay. This and now we have awesome, perfect. And now, if we look at it. Make sure the layers are on. Only the layers that are on are gonna be showing in your animation. Now we have this, right? So we have um, created different layers where the previous, is, the thing is the same as in the second thing. And then just kept going. So this is one way to make things work. And I feel like you could create some cool animations even with this effect when you have a layer disappearing or something. So that's really awesome. This is like one of my favorite features. One of the other cool things that they added is that if you hold on a layer, you isolate it. So now you can only see this layer. And then if you hold again, everything else shows. So for example, we can do it here to see it better. And then we hold again and then everything else shows. So this, guys, is the two new best features in the new Procreate. I'm sure there are some more. I think they added some, um, some other contrast stuff, um, some, some new overlays, but these two are huge and I thought you should know about them. So go ahead, explore. Uh, play around. This is so much fun. I used to create GIFs in Photoshop I would have to transfer the files from here to Photoshop in order to create it But now it's just so much easier and so much more fun play around enjoy and I'll see you in the next video Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed it